guys, today I'm going to be um, doing my top 10 favourite EX slash EX full art cards of all time. <coughs> so, we'll start off with Charizard EX. And by the way, um, I'm doing, I'm recording my videos in a new way with my iPad, so yeah, hopefully it's better quality than before, so start off with Charizard EX as my 10th favourite EX card now I really like like he's blasting probably my favourite fact about in this EX card if I just remove those cards it's that he's blasting and he's like blo he's like blasting fire right out of his mouth so it's just because like the swirl, I really like the swirl on in the fire and I like fire types in general so yeah this is one of my favourite EX cards of all time and also it looks really realistic and that's one of the reasons why quite a few of these cards made it onto this list and his, and the only really fire type that I've seen having this kind of effect where it goes down here is Delphox EX which will be on my list um but sorry for the spoiler no more spoilers so yeah it will be on my list so yeah that is Charizard EX I might not be able to see the EX but there you go another thing it's just I really like the red, and the re weirdest thing is, I think he's flying because if you look here, it's the star right there. So yeah, number ten is Charizard EX. And number nine, Garatina EX Full Art. Now Garatina is actually one of my favorite EXs. <laughs> Sorry, no, one of my favorite Pokemon on the actual game of all time. And I really like the swirl in the background. <coughs> and like the texture of the um actual card is like all full arts um really nice. So yeah. I really like the purple and the black in this in this um card. And I like it because it's got a gold outline as well. And a white outline on the EX. So yeah, that's Garatina EX. And it is from the Dragon's Exalted set. And this one, by the way, this um Char going back to Charizard, this one is actually the promo from the tin. But but this one is from Dragon's Exalted. See so a Garatina EX full art as my ninth favourite. <coughs> now my eighth favourite is Dark Cry EX. Now I really like um massive shadow ball here and all like the vibrant. Well the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't go on to this the picture like take like Charizard. It like the fire comes off here, whereas the on Dark Cry, um, it just stays around this area here. That's the only thing I don't like about this card. And but it does go into the top bit with like the hair. I could guess you could call it bit like on his head. So yeah, it does. So like his hand and his head does go into. If it, actually no, I think that's smoke. So yeah, his the hand and the head do go into the name thing, but I think they could have done better around here. Other than that, this is a great card, and my one is not in mint condition. You can see the corners are really wearing away. So yeah, that is Dark Cry EX. 
and this is from the Legendary Treasures set, so this is not a promo. And the next one, speaking of Legendary Treasures, is going to be Mew EX. I did get just a warning that my battery's low, so yeah, it might have cut off, but still. Mew EX. Now, I really like the rainbow in this. Mew EX. And this one is from the Radiant Collection. See, so yeah, I really like the rainbow in this, and. But it doesn't have those texture like other full arts do. And. See, so yeah, I really like the rainbow, but, um. And the, um, tail of Mew and. All that even goes into the border. So yeah, that's another cool thing about this card. And I think that happens with all the Radiant Collection, most of the most of the Radiant Collection EX Full Arts. So yeah, I will look into that afterwards. But but when I was saying it didn't have the texture, it doesn't have the texture, but it does have that. Dotty heme heme to it. So yeah, I really like this card. And I also like those stars. Like the yellow stars. So yeah, I really like them as well. So that is my sixth favourite card. My fifth favourite card. What is it? That was my seventh favorite card. The next one is White Kiran. One sec. One, two, five, six, seven. Okay. Next one is White Kiran. Now this would have been higher up on my list. Only if White and Dark Cry, they could have done a little bit better down here. They have done really well on like the orange and stuff up in the picture, but down here they haven't done much. But what I really like about this card is that like see that bit there? That is not a bit of tearing off the card. That's an that's a little <coughs> that's an ice bolt. And I also like the realistic look of this. Now the the thing that I really f um that really um I didn't really understand about this at first is that in his little spike on his head that flame bit is actually not part of its spike that's actually part of the little tail feather really off his head so yeah I think the orange goes um well well um i think the orange goes better with white kiram than it does with another card in my list which is um, my second favorite card in the list and i'm pretty sure you all know what that is and so yeah that is white kiram ex my next favorite card is Seismitoad EX Full Art. Now I really like this because of the texture and because it looks like it's under the sea. Now, not like not the song under the sea. This like under the sea. The seaweed is up. Um. So yeah, it's like the back. It's not the actual. I don't really like Seismitoad in game. But the po the background of it really does it for me, because, like, the background, they've done it perfectly. <clears throat> and that is why it's here in my list, instead of lower down. <coughs> so that is Seismitoad EX. Well, one last thing about it. Um... This isn't really down to my favourite, this isn't really a reason why it's here instead of lower down, but it's attack, grenade hammer is boss. So yeah, that is Seismitoad EX, 
Next one is Del Fox EX, which is the Primo version. I don't know if there's a non Primo version actually of Del Fox. And I really like it. They have done really well. They haven't done as well as such on the hair, say, say like, um, White Kiram or Dark Cry. So they haven't done like as well of a as a picture as White Kiram or Dark Cry. But comparing to them, these two, they they've done a lot more down here. Oh, I have the flame and then got another flare coming off as well. So just put these two back. So yeah, that is Del Fox EX. And yeah, I really like the flames coming down. Now I would have put this lower on my list have I not noticed the flares. So yeah, that is like the only reason really that why it's not lower down on my list. Ah! Sorry, my cam, my iPad just went, pew, flew off the bed. So yeah, flew off. So the next one is Greninja EX. Now I really like the realistic look of Greninja. Like if you look at it, like it looks really realistic. Like parts of it, like the tongue, the face, this top bit of the face, they all look really realistic. So this arm here. And I really they've done with Chestnut, Dill Fox and Greninja, they have done really well down here. And for Greninja is probably my favourite out of all three of the Carlo starters. And um his retreat cost is really low, so that's good. Or well, it's nothing to do really with the why it's on my list, but Greninja EX is one of my favourite po non legendary Pokemon of all time. So that is Greninja EX. Now my second favourite, I'm pretty sure you all know what it is by now. It is Reshiram EX. This has always been one of my favourite EX cards of all time. As I love Reshiram anyway in game. As I've always had the um movie Reshiram with Blue Flare. Um ever since I got my white version. So yeah. Brave Fire and Glid Decor are also good attacks, but forget about those. Although orange doesn't really the orange on this card doesn't really go as well with it as um white Kiram does. Cause I like the brighter orange, but Reshiram is beast. I like the mystical bits here. Then you got like the fire bits over here. It's like a mix, really. And it's all over hollow, which is really nice. See, it's all over hollow, which is always nice, so yeah. I've got the claw, like, ready to swipe someone with, like, glinting claw. I don't think he's actually doing brave fire, I think he's doing glinting claw, because all EXs, if you've noticed... <coughs> Are doing an attack like this one is doing Dragon Stream. This one is doing Night Spear. This one is doing Water Shuriken, if I can get it. Oh no, sorry, sh um, Aqua Blast. It's doing no Sharp Shooting. So yeah, this one is doing Glinting Claw because of the big claw there. So my first favorite, if you've watched. <coughs> Best Pokemon packs ever opening part one. You should know what this is. Big spoiler. Primal Kyogre EX Full Art. This is the only Mega 
Pokemon I missed. It, I do have a Mega Lucario. It just didn't make it onto this list. It will probably have been my 11th, so close. But, um, Primal Kyogre. It just looks amazing. Like, it's jumping out. I always like this Japanese writing. It's, jump, it's like jumping out of the ocean, saying, Ha, I'm Primal, you're not. It's just, ah! Oh, God. Um... Slightly over time. Um, so yeah, I'll have to get that verification text. So yeah, um, Primal Kyoga EX Full Art. So yeah, that is my number one favourite Pokemon card of all time. So, I, re I real oh, another thing I like is that like the tail, it goes into the attack, which is really nice. Now, the only thing I don't like about this, it's not actually part of the thing. This would have been number one, even if this was increased. It is the retreat cost. What the hell? And the attack power. They could have done that a bit better than Charizard, like 200 and... 20 maybe and their HP I think Mega Charizard has like 310 or something I might be making that up I'm not sure but yeah the Mega Charizard X would definitely be my Mega Charizard X secret rare full art would probably be my favorite card if they made it so yeah Primal Kyoga EX full art so see you all guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.